guys, hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the smallest pizzeria in the world. If you know any pizzeria smaller than this, please send me a link below, I want to see that. So this is probably one of those uh, micro pizzeria, I've never seen it. Anyway, today guys, I'm back to my, my normal place. I, I'm gonna make a very traditional Sardinian bread where I come from. Uh, it's the, one of the best flat um, crispy bread you can ever see. You like crispy bread, flat bread like that. Uh, I'm gonna show you the recipe very old and then we're gonna start it now. It's a very simple recipe. I'm gonna use a, a half kilo of semolina rimacinata, which is mean rimacinata has been uh, double millet. I use 100 gram of sourdough starter. I always said if you don't, if you don't do sourdough starter, you can use two, two gram two gram of rice of four grams of fresh yeast if you don't do sourdough. I use 100 grams. 10 grams of salt and 200 milliliter of cold water. So I'm gonna use my little machine to make the video very quick. So I'm gonna put my water in. And I'm gonna add my starter on the water. I'm gonna melt it a little bit. As you can see, I'm gonna hold the ball, see the starter when it's ready, it's floating on the water. So it's floating. Then I'm gonna put back on my machine. So wash my hand quickly. So I repeat, so two gram of dry yeast or four gram of fresh yeast if you don't do or sourdoughs or pizzas or bread. Okay, gonna give a little running. Is that the machine? Okay. And then I'm gonna use, I'm gonna add slowly my semolina. I've done a similar video in the past, but I never show you how to make the, the, the dough, the recipe. So I've been people, I've been asked me to do a full recipe today. So we got a little bit of timing, and then uh, we're gonna make it. So this little machine is gonna make my job very fast, quicker. You can do by hand as well, it's very low batch, but I want to do fast as possible because after that we have to work with the customer. Right, so I'm going to finish to add the semolina. Can you see inside? You can come to the camera as well. See, so. Alright, so I'm going to add all the remaining all the semolina so it's like I can finish by hand but I really save a little bit of time if you do by hand it's probably gonna take 10, 10 minutes but I really do fast as possible okay so I put the half kilo rimacinata flour Now I'm gonna put my 10 grams of sea salt. So it's a very simple recipe, it's very old, authentic, and it's become popular everywhere. And okay, so it's nearly ready. As you can see, this has to be quite hard, it's 50% hydration. Right, okay. And now I'm gonna finish my hand. I'm gonna give nothing for another couple of minutes. It saves me quite a little bit time with, with this. Okay, now I'm gonna finish on the table. And uh, we're gonna give a rest for an hour. Then we're gonna cut it. There you go. All right. Right, I'm gonna give a rest for an hour, then we're gonna cut it in four parts. Okay, now, and after an hour, we're gonna cut in four parts. You can decide your side of your carousel bread. So we do pretty much four parts, we're gonna make four balls. We we'll, then we we'll wrap like that, we we'll close like this. Okay. And then we're gonna give a rest at least for six hours and then we're gonna bake it. There 
go. Okay, so we're gonna put in the, our pizza trays and we're gonna give a rest for six hours, then we're gonna make it. Turn a bit. Okay, now we spend after six hours, as you can see, we're gonna take one. Okay, so to stretch this bread, so the best will be the best result. I know you might be not happy, he has to use pin roll because he wants to do flat as possible. So this now pizza is a carazao bread, so for the pin roll, because it's a flat bread, you want to do flat as possible. Make sure you got enough semolina to cover, otherwise sticks. Okay. Okay, so, and now, if you're gonna cook at home in your normal oven, it would be ideally to put your oven very hot with the, some a base stone to cook nicely, or with a wood fire oven, it's around 300 degrees temperature. So now we're gonna pour in the oven, and now the magic starts. All right, so we're gonna go inside the oven. And we're gonna let grow. And now we're gonna make very soon our carazao bread from Sardinia. I'm so excited, excited to make this bread. It's very old bread, it's very tasty, it's very crispy bread, as you can see. No, as you can see, it has to come like a balloon. As you can see. Okay, and now we're gonna take it out. We'll have it cooling down for two minutes, and then now uh, with the knife, I'm gonna cut it now. So, a bit too hot now, so flatten down with the knife. We're gonna give a cut. Maybe this knife is a bit too big. We need a little knife or scissor, maybe we start. Just to cut the first hole. Okay, so just like that. It's very hot, so ideally let it cool it down for a few minutes, but we're gonna start it. I'm, I wanna keep going with that. Okay. Okay, so now, so we normally gonna bake all of them, so we're gonna bake only one now, just to see how simple is that to do it. Gonna get no more plates. So if you do at home, don't do like I was doing now, let it cool it down for a few minutes. And now, I'm gonna pour back inside the oven to make the crispiness. That's the magic coming. Okay. Instead of it's not much flame. And now I'm gonna pull upside down. So has to cook another minutes, both sides. And then our carrots are ready, nearly ready. So make sure there's not much flame. Very nice and crispy. There we go. Oh, 
Salsa or Carazza bread. You can see crispy. Then you can put olive oil, salt, you can wrap it with uh, some ham, some vegetables. Guys, fry at home. Very simple, doesn't take too long to do it. And that's my carousel bread for you guys, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna put the recipe, full recipe below in the comments. And then uh, you can leave comments below for any question. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like this channel. See you at the next video. Thanks for watching.